Driving in neutral doesn't save you fuel. As a matter of fact, you spend more fuel driving in neutral, especially when you're going downhill. So now let me explain. When you're going downhill and you decide to put your car in neutral, what you're doing is coasting. Coasting is basically disengaging your engine power and your entire engine from your wheels. So your engine, your wheels are just spinning independently. Now, when you do this, the car is programmed to inject fuel or to inject fuel into the engine every short period of time to keep the engine from shutting off, right? However, if you leave your car in drive when you're driving downhill and you just take your leg off the accelerator pedal, what is going to happen is the ECU automatically understands and makes sure that there is no fuel injection into your engine until you step on your accelerator pedal again. So between your car actually injecting fuel every short period of time to your car not injecting any fuel at all, obviously the better choice would be to go with driving your car you know in drive instead of in neutral because that one will save you more fuel also in addition to this there are actually some other disadvantages to driving in neutral for a long period of time especially on the highway the first one is you're going to lose a lot of control as regards your vehicle so your steering your steering control will be compromised your braking control will be com compromised your reaction time in case of an emergency will be compromised because now there is no more engine braking helping your car to brake faster and more efficiently you have to do everything with your wheel brakes right and also you might be putting unnecessary strain on some parts of your vehicle take for instance in a manual transmission your throughout bearing can get damaged very fast because that is the part that will be taking the most strain when you're driving in neutral you might start to wonder so why are manufacturers still including it in the drivetrain of a car well the thing is there are actually some very good uses for neutral which a lot of people don't know about so the first one is if your car is stuck in any kind of situation take for instance if your car is stuck in mud or in snow and you're trying to push it out and it's probably proving difficult because your gear is in drive well you can put it in neutral and because now your wheels can move independently to be easier for you to push the car out of there without so much hassle the second benefit or advantage of using neutral is if you're trying to tow your vehicle so if you're trying to tow your vehicle you can easily put your car in neutral and your car will be able to move more freely especially if the towing van or towing vehicle does not have a dolly to help with the car also the third instance is for some unintended emergency situations like brake failure or unintended acceleration if you suddenly experience brake failure when driving on the highway you can easily shift your car from drive to neutral and very instantly your engine your your wheels will actually not be receiving any engine power and then you can easily just guide your car to a very safe place and try to park it all right and then in the case of unintended acceleration where there's too much power going to your wheels because of some issue with your accelerator pedal, you can very quickly just shift into neutral and then all the power will be cut off from your wheels and then you can very easily park your car somewhere safe and, you know, figure it out. 